Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. And there are 32 different theme teams, but which teams should you build if you're going for longevity? Yes, there are some teams that are good right now, but might phase out and might not get upgrades down the line. So today we're going to talk about the teams that I believe have the best chance to stay relevant, stay top tier throughout the whole Madden year. The shout out of the day today goes to my man, 49ers for the win, 73 for commenting the emoji of the day on last video. And if you want a chance to be shouted out in the next one, let's comment the ant emoji. Comment the ant emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next one. And yeah, also, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. We, of course, post that daily Madden 24 content, gameplays, tier list of videos just like this. And now we also stream on YouTube as well. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so to get us started, we have the Niners theme team. And I would say the Niners theme team has about like a 90 to 95% chance to be a top five theme team throughout the prime months of Ultimate Team. And what that means is end of October, November, December into January. That's probably when most people play the game or start playing the game because you have most fear, you have harvest, you have blitz, you have zero chill, you have a bunch of good stuff. And you know, the NFL season's really ramped up. Right now, we're not there yet, you know. We're not at that prime months yet. So um, I think Niners have the best chance. Not only the Niners, a really good team now, which definitely does play a part in getting upgrades. If you have a good team now, say Brandon Ayuk's balling out, you will most likely get like a promo upgrade. Or Debo Samuel always just kind of gets upgrades because he's Debo Samuel. He normally gets upgrades. Uh, but CMC, he will get upgrades. And as far as quarterback goes, you're going to have guys like uh, Steve Young, as well as uh, Joe Montana. Just two upgrades right there. I'm just thinking off the top of my head right now. Maybe like a Jimmy G flashback. I, you know, we have seen that card before. Um, George Kittle, good tight end. You have Vernon Davis here. Vernon Davis can even play receiver if the receivers are thin. Of course, we don't have a Randy Moss yet in the game. So Randy Moss with Jerry Rice and a Debo Samuel upgrade. That's a pretty good receiving core right there. And even just like random guys that you don't even, you know, they will pick up random upgrades throughout the year from guys that you didn't even know play on the Niners. Maybe like a T.O. we get this year. I don't know. I'm just thinking. But guys that you may not even have known played for the Niners, they just get upgrades. You're like, oh, that guy gets Niners camps. Or from you know from, from like the 80s or the 90s whatever um but you of course have Deion sanders here maybe like an added position Deion wide receiver we already have sherman in the game at safety right now they are lacking but ronnie lie is a guy who gets guaranteed upgrades every year you have patrick willis kevin green i'm probably missing a bunch of names but that just goes to show you how many players and upgrades the niners get from year to year because they have such a deep history and that and also they're good now so deep history good now and also a good track record puts the Niners to me, like I said, 95 to 90% that they will be a top five theme team throughout the prime months of Ultimate Team. So next up, we have the Cowboys. And of course, there's so many Cowboys fans across the country. So that means a lot of Cowboys fans play this game. And them dropping good Cowboys cards means, you know, you know, EA, EA is making that bread. So yeah, they're going to be dropping a lot of Cowboys cards this year. And also the Cowboys look to be like a top three, top five team in the NFL with the way they're playing right now they look really good so you should expect to see a good amount of upgrades from the cowboys you know michael parsons already has a really good card i mean their defense is amazing their offense right now is not that great however if you want to just start building this team now as a 25 out of 50 i mean they have probably one of the best defenses in the game maybe cheat at safety once and then use eric berry but you have three good cornerbacks three top tier cornerbacks you have the free michael parsons and the marcus Ware off both edges mozzie smith can play in the middle maybe throw in like another defensive tackle there Maybe you can even use Dante Fowler on the inside if you want. Also, you know, Demarcus Lawrence can't play defensive tackle. So Mozzie, you know, Demarcus Lawrence, Demarcus Ware, as well as Michael Parsons uh, for the pass rush. And then you have crazy cornerbacks and also good potential for this team as well. Uh, we had, um, what was that guy's name last year? I keep forgetting his name. Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson got a safety upgrade last year. Normally they actually do have holes at safety. I won't lie. But everywhere else, they're usually pretty good. I mean, CD's like a every week team of the week candidate. Who knows? He might get a card tomorrow. Probably not, though. But um, yeah, he's basically like an every week team of the week candidate. Amari Cooper usually does get like upgrades that are usually pretty good on theme teams. You have, of course, Deion Sanders, Terrell Owens. And I believe Des Bryant will be in the game this year. There has been leaks of Des Bryant being in the game this year from like before the game was even out. So definitely could see that. Running back, of course, Pollard upgrades. There could be a Zeke upgrade. There could be DeMar Dem DeMarco Murray upgrades. He had cards last year. Of course, Emmett Smith as well. So, you know, good upgrades there at running back. And then at quarterback, you have uh, my favorite, Randall Cunningham, would be really good for them. But also, Dak's been playing well. So, it could be Dak. It could be, you know, I don't know, Aikman. They got another rich history team. So, I would say they probably have like a 85% chance to be a top five theme. Maybe a little higher, actually. Probably like 90 for this team right now to be a top five theme team throughout those prime months of Ultimate Team. And I couldn't make this video without talking about the Raiders theme team. And to me, they're right up there with the 49ers. For some reason, 
a lot of players that have played on the Niners also played for the Raiders as well. So they're going to see a lot of parallels between both their theme teams. However, the Niners don't have this man right here, and that is Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, absolute dog. And, you know, anytime you're able to boost Bo Jackson cards, you're set. I mean, it's looking like the way the running backs are coming out right now. I mean, Bo Jackson has been literally the best running back for a very long time. I mean, no one's really come near Bo. He's just been like, like the last running back upgrade we got was Emmanuel Wilson, I believe, which was like two weeks ago. That's, that was the last top tier running back upgrade we got, which is absolutely disgusting. So you can add plus one speed to bow, or maybe even plus two speed to bow. That's a big W right there. But I, I mean, I'm waiting for these running backs to come out. They're just not dropping. I'm not sure what EA is doing. Everyone's got Bo Jackson. I mean, he's easily the best, but, um, you know, that, that's who the Niners, I mean, that's who the Raiders have that, that the Niners don't get. Also, Dante Culpepper could get a good upgrade. Um, he's been in the game the last couple of years. So Dante Culpepper could be their quarterback. Um, also, um, Rich Gannon, you know, could be a guy there as well. Um, at receiver, of course, Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, Devontae Adams. You know, he's been getting good cards recently. And at tight end, you have Darren Waller, who already does have an upgrade in the game. Michael Mayer is also good. So they're actually good right now as well. Then at cornerback, you have Charles Woodson. Um, and you know, on defense, they, you know, normally will get some good cards. Like, you know, Ted Hendricks is probably the one I would highlight the most. He normally, I don't know if they'll do it again this year, but the last couple of years, he's had like a safety card. That was obviously pretty nasty. Um, even his linebacker, you can use him. He's six foot seven. So anyway, you're able to boost his speed is a big W. We already have Warren Sapp in the game. Um, and again, the Raiders, great potential upgrades, you know, Ronnie Lott, um, guys like that. And also Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson's a big name. Rod Woodson's someone that played for the Niners and the uh, Raiders as well. And he does get upgrades basically every single year. And also he's a top tier corner every single year because the guy can hit, can play man, can play zone, has good size and always good speed. So, you know, Rod Woodson, Charles Woodson, Bo Jackson, you know, Jerry Rice and Randy Moss, um, just a bunch of guaranteed names that we're going to get, that, that we're going to get throughout this year. And also Bo Jackson, he'll get upgrades throughout the year as well to kind of keep the team on top of things. Next up, we have the Jets theme team. And I would say they have about an 80% chance to be really good throughout the prime months. Um, they do have a bunch of guaranteed upgrades. We'll start at wide receiver, Brandon Marshall, Plasco Burris. They will both get cards this year. Um, we'd like to see some more names. I mean, I mean, we've seen good Jets receivers in the past. You know, Derek Mason, Santana Moss, uh, Braylon Edwards. He had a good card a couple years ago. Uh, maybe he'll come back. Who knows? But at receiver, you know, they have good potential. And also, Plesco Burris, Brandon Marshall, two tall players. So if they get upgrades, they could be potentially like the way Calvin Johnson is for the, for the Lions theme team. And also, Garrett Wilson will get upgrades throughout this year. I'm at running back. There's two guaranteed to me. That's LaDainian Tomlinson and CJ2K. Maybe... Curtis Martin and probably a Brees upgrade. Who knows how good that will be? They already cheated this card. Maybe they'll do it again. At quarterback, Mike Vick, Aaron Rodgers. However, you know, Rodgers probably won't get any more upgrades this year because he's done for the season. So I, I don't think, I wouldn't ex I wouldn't expect to see like a Rodgers zero chill or something like that. Maybe, maybe they do it. Maybe because they know Rodgers does sell packs. But who knows? If they're going to cheat Rodgers the, the way they cheated this card, maybe he won't. But Mike Vick's the big one, obviously. Um, and in between Mike Vick upgrades, they usually cheat at quarterback, but Mike Vick's going to be a pretty good one. Um, O-line usually ends up pre pretty decent. Tight end, I can't lie, is usually very bad. And then on defense, you get, you're amazing, right? You have Cromartie, Darrell Revis, now Sauce Garner added into the mix. Also Ty Law in there. So you have basically four cornerbacks that are going to be getting upgrades throughout the year. Darrell Revis is very due. They've already been upgrading some of these Hall of Fame, you know, these Hall of Fame pre-order cards. Look at the Marcus Ware. So Darrell Revis... He'll probably get an upgrade very soon. Um, as far as pass rush goes, you have Leonard Big Cat Williams. You have Quinn Williams. You have uh, John Abraham, Sean Taylor, or not Sean Taylor, uh, Jason Taylor, my bad. Uh, Save you, you have Jamal Adams. You have Steve Atwater. You have Ronnie Lott. You have Ed Reed. So this is just a bunch of names. And of course, it comes down to when these guys are going to get upgrades. But to me, the reason why the Jets are an 80% team is because well, who knows when these guys are going to get upgrades, right? I feel like a lot of the Niners Raiders guys, they're like, we, 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 we see them in big promos, but... Brandon Marshall, who knows if we see him in most feared again. Plesco Burris, who knows when we see him in a promo. You know what I mean? CJ2K, uh, I mean, yeah, he's a legend, but maybe, I don't know. I guess we've never seen a CJ2K legend. Um, and LT, I guess, got a zero chill. So maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe it's up to 85 because they probably will get upgrades, especially because like Ronnie Lott and, um, you know, Steve Atwater's been in the game the last couple of years. Real Revis, they love getting him upgrades. So probably like an 85% guarantee for the Jets team team. Right, so next up, we have the Patriots. And I've run the Patriots theme team in the past. And I would say the Patriots theme team has a 75 to 80% chance to be top five. Um, and I'm starting to realize I have a lot of top fives here. But you know what I mean? They're going to be really good. Um, Randy Moss, they already have a good receiving core now. Maybe like a Cordero Patterson, Cur Curtis Martin for running back. At quarterback, I doubt we get a Tom Brady this year. I just doubt it. 
Uh, maybe because he's Tom Brady, he's a little bit different, but it's very rare to see someone that retired the year before be in the game the next year. Um, we really haven't seen that before, but maybe, you know, it's Brady. Maybe it's different. He's already a, a legend. He's already, you know, all these things. So maybe, maybe we do get a Brady, but uh, also Drew Bledsoe. He was in the game last year. Might come back at tight end. You, of course, have Gronk. And they've actually been getting really good tight end upgrades, but Gronk's really nice. Gronk can even play receiver if you want to do that. And usually their offensive line ends up being pretty good, so I would expect the same this year. And then for defense, um, they get Stephon Gilmore. Has a good upgrade already. We'll probably continue to get upgrades because the Dallas Cowboys are playing really well. Then you have Darrell Rivas, you have Ty Law, Christian Gonzalez. Um, you know, I would say Christian Gonzalez is going to get upgrades throughout this year. The guys are playing very well. Um, and then Darrell Rivas and Ty Law, they will get upgrades too. At safety, Maybe Rodney Harrison. He's been in the game the last couple of years. That's a guy I could think of. Maybe the McCourty twins. Maybe find a way on here. But uh, even for pass rush, you have Richard Seymour. Judon gets upgrades. Junior Seau. So, I um, mean, they'll probably find, they'll probably pick up some cheeky upgrades throughout the year. Maybe like a, like an Eric Rowe safety. I don't know. I'm just thinking here. Maybe some guys like that will get upgrades. Like your Jabril Peppers always somehow gets a, you know what I mean? Just the guys like that find a way to get upgrades. So the Patriots team team, I like them. Um, they end up being pretty good. Like I said, I had them early. I've had them before in past Maddens, and I would give them about a 75 to 80% chance to be that top tier theme team throughout the prime months of month. Okay, we now have the Ravens theme team. And this team right here is a little bit of risk involved. I would say they have a 65, maybe like a 70 to 75% chance. But if they hit, they could easily be number one because maybe because of quarterback. So quarterback, they have three guaranteed upgrades that will benefit from a speed boost. And what I mean by that is, for example, the Patriots theme team, say we get a Tom Brady upgrade, you know, giving him 52 speed compared to 51 speed on a theme team or opposite way around, it, it doesn't do as much as, you know, you giving RG3 plus one speed or Lamar Jackson plus one speed or Randall Cunningham plus one speed, even Joe Flacco potentially here as well. But a bunch of quarterbacks that will literally benefit from a speed boost because you should be using them as runners and you know, rolling out and things like that. So three upgrades right there. That will probably get sprinkled throughout the year and throughout these months, which is a big W. But the main reason why they're kind of lower is because of their skill positions. And they have three good tight ends right now. Or, yeah, three. I would say three. But Darren Waller, Shannon Sharp are both amazing. But at receiver, Steve Smith, unless we get like an Odell Beckham upgrade, Zay Flowers has been balling. So honestly, I might bum them up. I'll, actually, I'm going to keep them where they are. I'm going to keep them where they are. I'm going to go 70, 75, somewhere in that range. Just because these receiver upgrades are not guaranteed. And Steve Smith... He'd be nice. Even, um, what's, his uh, uh, um, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Jacoby Jones. Jacoby Jones. You have Jamal Lewis at running back. But outside of Jamal Lewis at running back, I don't know who else they get. I mean, their best running back last year was Gus the Bus, but I don't think Gus the Bus is coming back. I, I don't think he's coming back this year. So at running back, could be a pretty big hole right there. Maybe Jamal Lewis. He's the only guy I can think of who he hasn't been in the game since Madden 20, though. So. I don't know. And, you know, obviously not Ray Rice. You know what I mean? So it, definitely not him. Maybe like a Justin Forsett, a little cheeky Justin Forsett upgrade. I doubt it, though. And also, again, I should say this. Des Bryant is going to be in the game. So I forgot about him until just now. Des Bryant, a guy who's guaranteed an upgrade. Actually, I'm going to move him up now because of that. I'm going to go 75, 80 because I just thought of Des Bryant. But I'm telling you, if this theme team gets upgraded to the right time, they're going to be dangerous. Because also at cornerback, Marlon Humphrey... We'll get upgrades this year, but you have Deion Sanders and Rod Woodson. And then at safety, you have Ed Reed. And all they need is like a Kyle Hamilton upgrade, maybe even a Marcus Williams upgrade. I mean, they're good. I mean, they're going to be pretty solid in real life too. You already have Ray Lewis, who's probably not worth buying. But, you know, usually good edge rushers as well with, you know, Jadavian Clowney. They already have some guys who can kind of fill off the edge as well. So Ravens theme team, I like their potential a pretty good amount. And I hope that if they do get the upgrades at the right times, they could be number one. They have a crazy boom percentage. Like, they could go crazy for a good stretch. They definitely could. And real quick, I just wanted to talk about a team that is really good right now, but might not have the best potential. And that's the Steelers theme team. Looking at their track record um, through previous Mutt games, they really haven't had good theme teams. I mean, they might have their times. I feel like Madden 20, they were pretty solid. But outside of that, I mean, right now, this is probably the best they've been since Madden 20. If you have a Steelers theme team, you're loving this right now. You have Jerome Bettis, you have Frank Harris, you have Mike Vick, even Terry Bradshaw, depending on how you want to play the game. You have two good receivers. Um, and then on defense, you have, jo you have Joey Porter here, you have Patrick Peterson, and Mega Fitzpatrick. So this team right here is really good right now. But again, this is a team that I could definitely see just going dry. They could just go dry, especially because, the you know, even though the Steelers won last night, they could go through a little bit of a dry patch. I would not be surprised. So... 
maybe I'm, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I am wrong for you Steelers team teams out there, but I have to make an example of you guys just because I, I feel like this team could just go dry because of, you know, past Maddens for whatever reason. And the Steelers are a weird team because the Steelers are a historic franchise. For some reason, EA never shows them any love. I, they just don't. And they usually don't give them any good upgrades. I mean, this is a this is a crazy start to the year for them. So they could go crazy. They could. But odds are they will uh, definitely fizzle out here in, in the coming months. And finally, last but not least, we have the Seahawks theme team. And to me, Seattle is probably like an 85 to 90% because first of all, they've gone dry. They're already, they're still a really good theme team, but they've gone dry over the last two weeks or so, but they will get upgrades. And that's because EA, I believe, discovered that everybody that became a Seattle Seahawks fan, a Legion of Boom fan in 2013, 2014, now has a credit card and has a debit card and can make their own financial decisions. So EA is um, you know, now uh, profiting off of that, I believe. So they've gone dry. We, 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 we have a bunch of big content drops coming out with, you know, Gridiron Guardians, Most Fear, The Harvest, Zero Chill. Like I said, throughout the prime months of Mutt, there will be Seattle upgrades. There will be. Um, Sean Alexander, Brandon Marshall, Marshawn Lynch, DK Metcalf, just to name a couple. And that that's enough to kind of keep the team afloat. Maybe like a Russell Wilson. Uh, but once Warren Moon faces out, they might be kind of screwed at quarterback. I won't lie. But good running backs, good receivers, um, tight ends, maybe like a, maybe like a Greg Olson, maybe like a Jimmy Graham, you know, maybe like a Noah fan upgrade, who knows, but uh, de pretty good potential there, very decent. And then on defense, obviously, they've gone kind of dry, and I, I say that even though they got like Jadavian Clowney the other day, but you know, I, I don't know who they could get here at cornerback, that's the thing that scares me. I know we had like a Sean Springs in Madden 21, um, but Tariq Woolen's next upgrade, He'll probably be the fastest corner in the game. He'll probably be the, one of the taller corners in the game. And giving him a speed boost on a Seattle team where he's exclusive is a big W. So having a guy like Tariq Woolen, big W right there. Cam Chancellor, Jamal Adams upgrades. I'm um, trying to think of some more, but just know Seattle. They, I think, I know I can't name a bunch of guaranteed upgrades uh, on their defense, but EA will find a way to keep them relevant. I think EA keeps this team afloat because again, they know that, that this team makes them money. Very similar to how Dallas makes them money. It's very, it's very similar. And like the same way the Raiders did in Madden 22, I believe it was. Everyone had a Raiders team. So they were just dropping Raiders like crazy. And it made, I'm sure it made them a lot of money because you had to spend it by those new players for your theme team. So he needs to make EA a lot of money and they will always continue to drop, you know, top tier cards for their theme team. That's why you don't see Texans get a bunch of upgrades and guys like that. So um, yeah, I think Seattle Seahawks have great potential. If you have them, stick with them. If they don't get upgrades through Gridiron Guardians, I guarantee you they eat in most fear and everything else leading up to it. So stick with them because they will become very, very good. And yes, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know if any teams were snubbed. Let me know if there's any good sleeper teams that have good potential this year. Um, I was thinking maybe Falcons, Julio Jones, Eric Dickerson, um, Lions, you know, probably not Lions, Lions, Night Train Lane, Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders. Um, there were definitely some teams I was thinking about, but I'm going to stick with those teams uh, for now. But let me know. Was anyone snubbed? Was your theme team snubbed? Let me know down in the comment section. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.